Now he's back. And he's making things happen again for Bimeg. It's been an awful night at the stripe here for, oh, yes. for Brown. Not only at the stripe, but from the field, he's going one out of eight. And that's who the Bimeg Derby H. Demados have next. On Sunday at the Araneta Coliseum, they'll have to contend with the San Miguel Beer Men. And he missed again. The realtors now slowly running out of time to try to make this comeback work. Johnson, nice fake in the paint. Oh, and it's going to be an offensive foul against Anthony Johnson. So Johnson picking up foul number five. And that's a good call. That was in the no that was outside the no charge zone. So the Yamado still protecting this 15 point lead, 67 to 52. There's this, the perimeter field goal story. And it's a pretty ugly story by far for Santa Lucia. Only 5 out of 39. Here's another offensive foul called against uh, Cliff Brown. And if I'm not mistaken, that's also foul number 5 on Cliff Brown. Yep. So both of these teams might not even be able to finish this game with their imports if this keeps going. 14 offensive fouls have been called in this game. Brave three. Oh, no, that's a long two, rather, from Pong Escobar. Nine points in the ball game for the young guard. Brown. They get it back to James Yap. Eight seconds on the shot clock for the Llamados. And it looks like it's going to stay with B Meg Derby Ace with only two seconds left on the clock. And it's going to be Paul Artadi with the inbound. They get it to Meyerhofer. Meyerhofer, oh, he was definitely bothered by the defense of Ogi Menor. So it's back to the Santa Lucia Realtors now. Ogi Menor trying to make up for some lost time. He missed most of the third quarter. Well, really all of the third quarter. Menor for three. Yes. That's a big one. Breaks down the lead to just 10. Still time for Santa Lucia. Or rather 11. That's a two-pointer. All right, so he was stepping on the line. Ogi yep. Menor, so, so that's going to be a two. Still some time here for Santa Lucia to get back into the game in a big way. But their defense is going to be tested here. And Brown. Is this going to be an offensive foul? Because if it is, it's going to be his last. Yes, Cliff Brown has just committed his sixth and final foul for the day. So the Lumandos are going to be forced to go all Filipino for the remaining two minutes and eight seconds of this ball game. Here's another look. This is Nick Velasco trying to keep him out. I don't know about that no. call again. <laughs> you see so many offensive fouls. It's a lot like what we saw in the first quarter of this ball game, really. So down to the final two minutes of the ball game. Escobar looking for another long one. Yes! What a time for Paul Escobar to find that long range jumper of his. And just like that, the Realtors are now within seven. Closest they've been since the first half of this ball game. And we've got a 30 second timeout brought to you by Handy Fix on first aid and Bahay Mo Bonds all seals all. Vito combination of turnovers against BMEG and then had six so far in this quarter and the good outside shooting here of Santa Lucia also a spate of bad luck 
especially Cliff Brown missing those free throws, getting tagged with successive uh, fouls. That last one, the offensive foul. You know, I, I guess referees have to realize they don't have to blow their whistles all the time. Here's a look at that last jumper from Ogi Menor. So we talk about perimeter scoring. Here's Menor and now Escobar pouring in the points from the outside. I think Santo Lucia was just waiting for that rhythm to flow from the outside because b -Meg has been playing tough interior defense all night long. A minute and 54 left in regulation. This is going to be b -Meg Derby ace possession. If the Santa Lucia Realtors can get, get their defense holding up without Cliff Brown on the floor. Well, some good defensive matchups here done by Santa Lucia, particularly Al Jamal on James Yap. Yap only with three points in this quarter on a single three point shot. Just crossing the half line in the nick of time. Oh, Rivas almost losing that one. Here comes James Yap. Yap out of the double team. That's tapped out of bounds. So the Yamadas are going to be forced to come up with something. There's some momentum here shifting to the side of Santa Lucia. Oh, no, look at all the collisions down there. Oh, and that's going to be an offensive foul against KG Canaleta. His third personal as he ran into Nick Velasco. Now let's watch him here. There's movement without the ball. Well, his son gets sandwiched in there. So that, that makes it 16 offensive fouls called in this game alone. And we have to pause for a 30-second timeout. We'll stay with this broadcast. This timeout, by the way, brought to you by Handy Picks on first. Eight them by more. Bonds all. Seals all. Another offensive foul called there by the referees. You know, both coaching staff, I, I, I think both organizations are probably going to... I mean, I mean, this is not a regular game. I, I mean, the, the way the calls have been made it's 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 probably going to be a point for discussion after the game we're going to pause for a full time out now we'll be right back anthony johnson the only import that's standing now it's a matchup between the b mcderby ace Lermados and the santa lucia realtors cliff brown of the Lermados has already fouled out it's an eight point ball game realtor possession a minute and 33 to go still a very real possibility here for the realtors to come up with a win here al jamal needs to make this at short Anthony Johnson however picking up the loose ball and he's going to be sent to the line that three-point shot would have been a big one for Santo Lucia but what about the offensive rebound by AJ never giving up has not scored at all in the fourth period now gets a chance to will down this lead to just six with 121 to go this is very manageable for Santo Lucia And Coach Ryan Gregorio from his end looking intently. What a meltdown here for BMEG from a 20 point lead, rather 21 point lead. That was the biggest. Johnson now 9 of 10 from the line tonight. Oh, he rarely misses from the stripe. Within striking distance now. Johnson's second free throw, it's out. Rebound by Rivas, and now the Lamad. Al Jamal giving up the foul. So some free throws coming up. Well, a gamble here in the part of Santa Lucia, realizing that Paul Artadi not exactly the best free throw shooter on the B-Meg 5 on the floor. He's had a monster and very solid offensive game. 17 points. Oh, make that 18. 